Hi, welcome back to channel, Train Station 2. All right, the second competition started, but before that, I'm going to show you this amazing train that I saw. Yes, this is the one. I think uh, it's from the event for us, and some people just actually spend money to get it. I'm going to show you how fantastic it looks like. Wow, this is a video that show shared with uh, a lot of uh, people who are amazed at it by it. So apparently, I saw this video, and I really want to capture it to share with you. I think um, this is really a great sharing by the uh, very general generous owner of this fantastic and beautiful train. Just take a look at this. I think uh, <laughs> I wish uh, this is one of these uh, free trains, but no, this is from the event uh, where I need to pay in order to get this train. But I think uh, people who spend that couple of dollars really love this train a lot. And I think it looks really amazing, don't you think so? I mean, uh, especially this part. Wow. <laughs> So, all right, uh, before that, I'm going to share with you this, uh, what I get from those containers as usual. Uh, something really expecting much is just these uh, common trains. Uh, but now, sometimes, uh, when you do uh, get really lucky like this... Right, but most of the time, it's common traits. Alright, so I uh, hope you have watched my earlier video on the Redemption Code uh, Coffin. Alright, so that's quite interesting here, the Redemption Code Coffin. Uh, just put it in, and you should be able to get a good number of keys. Uh, do remember, there's an expiry to it, just get it done ASAP. Alright, so the start of the second competition have a good start. Uh, started uh, about probably say about 12 or 13 hours late or so. Uh, bear in mind, this is a 3 days competition, so initially I wanted to start slightly even later, but um, Lucky uh, managed to start in appropriate time. I'm sure you the starting uh, ranks later on. You can see here uh, we're about 13 hours late, uh, which I think is a very good timing. Uh, very lucky indeed. I was uh, I didn't really expecting this. Um, and of course, uh, what we could do is those deliveries that we need to make um, in order to make space. Um, lots of items are uh, packed in the factories to the brim. Can't really move much, so I've got to make sure we do those delivery as well. Um, Levering up is not something that I wish to go faster than expected, but I, I really have to do it sometimes to get more keys uh, by doing the jobs as well. That will automatically level you up. So. Um, for those that basically once have to have a lot of gems can convert to gold, we'll be lucky. As you can see from the news just now, I think there's a double uh, value in it. So for us that are really gem poor, then unfortunately. Alright, can see here, a uh, really good start uh, with the EP hit start of 100, um, all the way propelled to the top. Uh, really much much uh, better than uh, what I expected. So um, really lucky again here. Alright, so uh, not too bad uh, so far, even though sometimes you know, one star container could get you epic trains. Alright, so uh, lots of preparation work was done, that's why you can see all the factories filled to the brim. And now we get to um, get back the uh, chairs out in the front spot, so I'm going to move that. As i seen just now, the table is backwards in terms of order. So uh, that's how I could maneuver to move the chairs forward. But um, those books would take like 440 space um, unlikely we'll be able to shift it out uh, so let's see how we work out oh no uh, <laughs> it seems like uh, we are stuck a bit um, probably have to do some adjustments to the warehouse spacing by dumping some stuff or uh, alternatively we do, we do some deliveries as well uh, that would ease a bit of the space constraint that we are facing but if we do that uh, that doesn't really help much, but let's see how it work out. Alright, so you can see here, sometimes you have really strong competitors that's coming on board um, gradually when they join into the competition. And you know what, sometimes, um, at maybe at the end of the video, you realize that when you join it, like probably 24 hours late, you're joining the group that already started like 12 hours before. So this is something that I think, uh, not that fantastic. <laughs> so, um, Pixel Federation has been quite strange in that context. Um, somewhat packed you with a predetermined group of people. Uh, so you are already uh, fixated to that group. So sometimes um, by starting late may not be a hundred foolproof uh, strategy uh, because probably they're trying to plug the gap 
because every single strategy that we can think of Pixel Federation is trying to plug the gaps to make sure you doesn't have such a strategy so like we all mentioned uh, starting late is a strategy but if they've been packing uh, people uh, in a predefined group so you thought that you start late you were joining a fresh group um, Pixel Federation is telling you this is not going to happen right so make sure you start late still because if you fight with the uh, very fierce competitors that start on time you're bound to lose um, so how many hours i will always advise between 8 to 12 but today for this uh, three days events uh, starting about 13 hours which is appropriate um, and also i mean there are other strategies of 99 percent um, if you ask me about uh, this event um, currently um, I'm more uh, towards 99% strategy for this event. Um, initially, I thought it wasn't because um, it has a low ceiling job. So when I, when I talk about ceiling jobs, I'm talking about um, how many uh, jobs before you complete one customer. So you can see my existing three customers, um, the job ceiling is 20 each. So um, given such high job ceiling, um, it basically means um, it is a 99% strategy event um, when you first started I, I don't know whether you know this um, it is just a slash 5 ceiling job which means that the maximum of 5 if there's a scenario they are pushing towards 100% completion so this is again some kind of like a trick by Pixel Federation to confuse us whether this is a 99% strategy event or is this a 100% strategy event in a 100% strategy event normally they have a very small ceiling all the way uh, from the start slash 5 all the way to the end is still slash 5 right so with that they are forcing you uh, to complete 100% and once you complete 100% they give you very high EP of 70 EP per job so everybody is rushing to complete 100% in that scenario there are on the reverse uh, the scenario of 99% strategy for those they will start off with very high um, ceiling like 20 or even uh, 30 but um, for that if you complete 100% you'll be penalized all right not a rewarded like the previous scenario I mentioned um, the 100 the hundred percent strategy uh, whereby you'll be rewarded with 70 EP which is relatively high uh, once you are in a 99% strategy kind of event and you hit 100% you'll be penalized with a premium of deliveries quantities so basically you lose out because you're getting tiny EP uh, for a very high delivery quantity job so people who have completed 100% will lose to people who doesn't complete 100% in scenarios whereby 99% strategy works and I'm telling you this um, in this uh, event it's a bit confusing because it starts with a low ceiling and now it ends with a high ceiling so because of that I'm taking the current situation I will determine that this is a 99% strategy event so I'm sticking to um, not complete one of the customers okay so be it the twins or the clown or the Dracula I'm not going to complete one of them I'm going to stuck it at uh, probably 19 slash 20 I'm going to hold it all the way to the last competition before I do the final swing to complete it all right so this is what I intend to do because I think this is bending towards a 99% strategy all right so um, I will monitor again and I'll update if there's a change of plan all right otherwise stick to 99% strategy I think that will work well for us all right so now in terms of preparation in the scary workshop always keep it running right so that is the key to winning the events your scary workshop must be running round the clock the reason being that um, most of the time the event quantity they ask for subsequently will be high so if you don't have stock enough of this um, you will find yourself having difficulty because all the three customers are asking for event uh, items and you've got to have lots of time to create them so really uh, this is something of it and for me I'm really eyeing these two beautiful legendary trains as a free to play so I hope you enjoyed my video so far and I hope you are aligned in terms of the 99% strategy as well as our first target a twin of um, legendary thank you for watching wish you good luck goodbye